All right, so here we're going to be dealt one card from a standard 52 card deck. Find the probability being dealt an ace, a red card, and a red king. All right, so first off, here's our deck of cards. So we have, you know, the hearts, uh, clubs, the diamonds, and spades. And there's 13 of each of these cards, you know, in each suit. So these are the suits. There's going to be four aces, four twos, four threes, four fours, and so on. So these are kind of how we need to look at this. Uh, eventually, we're going to talk about, you know, face cards. So these are going to be our face cards. Uh, you know, so those are all the different things. And if you don't understand a deck of cards, this is what we really need to reference. So for A, we want to know the probability of an ace. Well, how many aces total are there? there? Well, there's one, two, three, four. So probability of an ace is going to be equal to four over the total number of cards. Well, we said it was a 52 card deck. So four out of 52. Now, if we reduce that, that's going to give us one out of 13. And so that's the probability of getting an ace. What about getting a red card? So here we're going to get a red. Well, if we look at this, there's 13 reds here and there's 13 reds there. So that's going to be 26 possible reds out of 52. Well, if we reduce that, that's half. And if we think about it, half of the deck is red and half of the deck is black. And so that's going to be how we look at that one. What about C? A red king. So probability of a red king. All right. Well, how many red kings are there? Well, there's one and two. So there's two red kings out of how many? 52 cards. So the probability that if we reduce that, that's going to give us one out of 26. So again, knowing our cards and how they work will get us, you know, 52 is going to be our number in our uh, sample space. And then we just have to figure out how many in the events. And then after that, we just reduce it. All right. So next up says we're going to use this table on the right here uh, to solve this exercise. If each parent carries one cystic fibrosis gene, find the probability that the child will be a carrier of the disease who is not actually sick. Oops. Something went wrong here. All right. Well, what do we know? Okay. Well, C is going to represent the unaffected gene, such as a carrier. So a carrier can be a big C, little c. So that's what we're looking for. They're going to be a carrier. And so big C, big C is neither a carrier nor has it. Big C, little c is a carrier, but is not sick. And little c, little c is a person who's sick with the disease. Okay, so that little c was up here. It represents a gene that puts a person at risk. So what we're looking for is the big C, little c. And it doesn't matter which order they are. So there's one here and there's one here. All right, so the probability of big C, little c, whether it's in either order, is going to be what? Well, that's going to be two in that sample space out of how many? Well, there's one, two, three, four out of four. So that probability, if we reduce it down, it's going to be equal to one half. And again, uh, you know, this one is easy. We could at least also say 0 0.5. But again, I, I think if we have it as a fraction, that's a good way to keep it. And so I'm going to say just keep it as a fraction. All right, so let's stop there and we'll come back for some more.